Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is gonna be about with the features of Visual Studio Code. So in case you're using Visual Studio Code as an editor, you might find this video interesting and take away a few of the features I have come across in working on the Visual Studio Code last few months. So we all get bored with the same theme black and white so visual studio kind of comes with multiple theme selection as well so what you can do i'm using a mac by the way so all my commands would be persisted to mac uh, however try to compare with windows as well as in when required so shift command p lets us open a terminal and from there we can just type in themes and then use the preference theme and toggle between multiple themes light or dark whatever is whatever pleases our eyes so i like keeping it dark so i'm going to keep a monokai theme the second feature is uh, in case you're working on code or documentation some of the features like like you can you can use on your on your daily basis while working on code or documentation option command and then the down arrow selects multiple lines and if you want to let's suppose uh, you want to append something beneath the line or comment it or want to put some text you can simply do that in case you want to copy one of the line what you can do is simply do in, in windows i think it's shift control and then d however with mac it's control c and then you can toggle between the line as well in case you want to delete any lines you can use command X that's gonna delete the line for you if you're working on a long set of document or a code you can use command up arrow or down arrow to go to the up or at the bottom of the screen just in case you're working on multiple documents uh, together you can toggle between your uh, documents as well you can type command P and then toggle between your files um, go to variables and if you working on windows it's going to be control option and then page up and down in in mac it's going to be option command and the side up and up and side arrow to toggle between your documentation visual studio code also comes with intellisense which means it's going to come with the auto completion features uh, if you, I'm writing a Terraform code, so I can I can show you how the auto completion works. Sure, Adam, I can simply type in Control Space, and that's gonna come up with all the uh, auto completed commands like this. So that's how it it works. Uh, you would notice that uh, uh, when I when I write something in my Git folder. All it does is it kind of gives me a, fee a notification that you have made changes with the commit ID like this, with change ID like this. Uh, had it been an other commit committed changes which are already pushed, you can see that um, the it says that who had made what changes, what what time ago. So this is particularly uh, uh, helpful when you're working on a large set of projects. Uh, you can see who has made what changes. Uh, and then go to the commit ID and see who has so you can see that this guy has made a change three day ago at this particular time uh, Commit ID and then you can go to the commit ID as well and see what changes he had made so you can go to the extension and type in GitLab lens and that's the that's the uh, That's the extension. I've been talking about in terms of extension what you can do is you can use a GitLab extension which which kind of gives you a a holistic view of what all changes have been made to your file what are the untracked changes what are the track changes and you can simply type in your commit id and push your changes rather than doing a get get flag or get push get commit and then get add in case you want to push pull or discard any certain changes you can do a commit or discard all the changes or stage unstage the changes as well all right in case you are working on mk docs you want to work on documentation what you can do is you can create a document name document name of your document dot md and then you can preview that particular documentation as well so what you can do is shift command and then type in v and that's going to open a preview for you 
um, so you can you can kind of see doc edit the documentation uh, GAD guide for demo and you can toggle back to your preview file and see that you can visualize the changes rather than going back forth onto your browser and see the changes you can also do um, control backslash and and kind of uh, visualize and work on multiple documents let's suppose you want to visualize one of the documentation over here and likewise um, over here you want to preview the documentation or vice versa you want to preview it right over here and over here you want to edit the documentation so you can kind of works parallelly as soon as you make the changes you can visualize your changes right over here um, this so that's how you can kind of uh, open multiple files at once and do that for terminal as well so terraform so visual studio kind of comes with the the terminal so you can go to the terminal and work on multiple terminals you can come comes with multiple terminal like bash powershell get bash or command prompt so you can open these terminal also multiple terminals and kind of run your code right from here or probably you can working on one terminal for each folder and then one terminal for e one file for each terminal and kind of write your code over here and make run make the terminal changes that's about opening multiple terminals all together um, you can also what you can do is um, just in case you would like to close this you can do a command W option which is which will close the particular file which you have opened all right in case you want to toggle between uh, put breakpoints suppose you're working on a bash script or node.js whatever uh, you can put toggles between your scripts the red one shows the toggle and breakpoints and you kind of work out between these toggles as well all right that's I hope this was informative. 